Natalie is a sauropod, essentially a, a long neck dinosaur that lived about 150 million years ago in which uh, remains are found in the southeastern corner of Utah, were discovered by our crews in 2007 for the first time. Why the nickname? We call it Natalie uh, with, a, with a G because during one season the gnats were so intense and they drove us so insane that uh, we decided to, that was a, an appropriate name for, for the creature. Well, Natalie is quite special because it is uh, a new species of long necks and you don't really find new species of uh, long neck dinosaurs in North America every day. And especially when you're looking at or you're talking about animals that lived at a, at a time period, in this case, the late Jurassic 150 million years ago, and in rocks that have been explored for about 150 years. So it's remarkable uh, to find um, a new species of a dinosaur that's so big, because Natalie is an animal that probably reach a length of maybe 80 or, or more um, feet, in that after 150 years of exploration of the Morrison Formation, the strata that contains the remains of Natalie, you can still find um, new species and a new large dinosaur species. We work always on public uh, lands, um, so we have a permit from the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management, that administers uh, the land that we're um, working on and, and exploring. So a lot of the work that we do, uh, the, the preliminary work that we do, is really uh, to drive around and, uh, and walk over the land and looking at tips. The tips essentially that we're talking about are points of bones or fragments of bones that uh, are on the surface and you excavate those bones that stick out from the ancient uh, rock and that may lead you to another bone or may lead you to a whole skeleton or may lead you to nothing but sometimes like in this case it leads you to a whole um, skeleton or in the case of natalie actually a number of them because what we have found out over the years of excavating the natalie quarry was essentially an a part of an ancient riverbed were the skeletons of a number of dinosaurs that lived together at the same time um, accumulated. Natalie is one of them, but we also have the remains of another large sauropod, another large long neck, and we have the remains of carnivores, we have the remains of armored dinosaurs, we have the remains of some of the early uh, forerunners of duckbills, so it's essentially a very nice quarry with many dinosaur skeletons. Well, uh, Natalie is a diplodocid, so it's an animal that is um, close to the, the famous uh, Diplodocus. And, and, you know, for the um, untrained eye, it, it would probably, it wouldn't look that different from a Diplodocus. Maybe um, uh, a little bigger, maybe uh, more um, robust, uh, stouter than, than uh, the Diplodocus. But for the anatomist, it is clear um, something new. It, it has features in the bones, in the, in the tail vertebra, uh, in the forearms that are different from Diplodocus or different from other Diplodocids, other um, dinosaurs that are part of the, the, the Diplodocus um, family. Well, you can see it in the Dino Lab because um, our staff, our, our preparators and, and technicians in the Dino Lab are preparing Natalie. Uh, we've made it uh, a priority because, uh, because it's a new animal. I like to uh, describe it and formally name it uh, as soon as possible. But before that, we need to prepare the bones. We need to have the bones clean and ready for photography and for study. You can also see some bones of uh, Natalie in the new uh, dinosaur hall, especially in the, the fossil wall hall at the beginning of the hall, a long glass case with many um, um, dinosaur bones. You can see some of them right there. Look for green bones and you'll see them right away.